Recent samples of the water here at Venice Beach show high levels of red tide. You don't need this sign to let you know the algae bloom is back. As the sun goes down along Venice Beach, the stunning colors attract tourists and locals who marvel at the orange and red colors. But the red tide menace is lurking. It's already pretty bad from Venice uh, south to about Naples. Dr. Bob Weisberg tells me the latest red tide outbreak, seen with red dots on this map, is confounding experts who normally see it start offshore. This year seems a little odd. It actually appears like it has formed near shore. This family visiting from Buffalo, New York, is putting up with red tide's unpleasant effects to enjoy the sunset. I had coughing. A couple of them had um, got rashes like on their legs. The 2018 red tide lasted for months, killed tons of sea life, and kept tourists away. Are you concerned we might be another for, in for another round of that? I have no idea. I just hope not. The red tide season lasts until December. There was coughing as we approached the beach, just, you know, that like you got a catch in your throat. A yeah. um, little bit of a runny nose. New funding from Tally should help scientists better understand how red tide works. With that knowledge, better decisions can be made on how to deal with it. In Venice, Peter Bernard, 8 on your side.